it's true. Uh, Mepe has been affected the most. Over thousands of people, thousands of people have been affected. We, the, these are the only place that is that that is has remained that the flood has not overtaken us. So we have now become like an island in Mepe, and the the river keeps coming. It keeps coming. So we don't know what will happen tomorrow. So we need all the help that we can get. Because uh, some of our people are also isolated and on the higher, other higher grounds. So we, we, we are pleading with government and all NGOs and individuals to come and support us. Uh, we are in need of so many things, mattresses, uh, mosquito nets, even food, water. You know, our our water, but our, our the river that we drink from has now been contaminated. It is not safe to even uh, bath with it, not alone drink it. So we are pleading. We know you have come. What you have come to do is is a lot, but we still need more. So we are pleading that when you go, extend it to your colleagues that we need Mepe and Tongu need their help. They should come to our aid and rescue us. And also, as you said, uh, stakeholders, including VRA, they need to sit up and then plan ahead. As it is coming today, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. The dam could collapse, just as it happened in Libya. When that happens, it will wipe us all away.